What do you think we're going to have to do? I think we're going to have to do a task. I, I probably would... sell something. I've got a feeling there's making a program involved in this. Wouldn't that be, be a bit close to her? It's business like that, is it? No, I suppose yeah. you're right. How do you turn that into a business? Cool. Oh, I've no good. idea. My people have selected a whole range of products, and you'll decide which of those products you're going to sell. And then both teams are going to go live on the telly and sell them. <laughs> <laughs> and the treat for the winning team is good news. I'm not going to give you a job because I would never have any of you arty farty tossers working for me. <laughs> Eight highly paid executives. Sir Alan Sugar has made them an offer they can't refuse. Let's just give it a bit more length. Oh, that's better. More length always good, ladies, when you're doing your floors. <laughs> Morning. Uh, Mr. Mops just arrived. <laughs> well, um, shows you how easy it is to assemble or. Um, or take a part, even for a, a thick old like me around the house. <laughs> OK, it's time for product it. selection now. Oh, fabulous. Very important. Some shoes oh. and jewellery. <laughs> jewellery. <laughs> shoes. Handbags. No. Handbags. <laughs> this is a girl heaven, girl do you see? <laughs> Unknown to the teams, Sir Alan is on his way to the office to watch them live on TV. Go, Emma. Good afternoon. Right, packing. Packing for holidays is very, very important that you get the right items in your uh, luggage. Now, what's you going on about coal, packing for you? You could have black, which I think suits everybody, even me. I think this is a You really, couldn't really wear that, dear. Don't say summer. you could wear that. The girls' hopes now rest well, with I Camilla. To do. It was like a, oh, it was literally like being in a candy shop, um, but a jewellery candy shop. So I'm looking at jewellery today, and there are two items I'm going to focus on. Yeah, she's not doing too bad. Don't know if she's going to flog any. One sold! Yes, yes, you can one dress sold. it up in the evenings, and actually, it's the sort of thing that your friends will say, oh my goodness, where did you get that? I mean, that price, introductory price, two easy payments. Introductory price and two easy payments. Ah, at last she's mentioning the price, which is not a bad idea. Because she's been bunnying for so bloody long now, she's forgotten what she's doing. Thanks so much. Lovely to speak to you all. Bye bye. <laughs> Stressful. <laughs> Start demonstrating. This will help make you a, health, a healthier pace. Right, so let's just see what it does. Um, as you can see, it's admirably with all forms of products. Dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. You can see he's never done that before. He's made it bloody worse. Well, if you flog Tiger for 34 million quid, he can flog that load of crap also. One fifteen. The candidates have an appointment in the boardroom. Good afternoon. There's obviously no job going, that's for sure. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> so, Margaret, let me know, how did the boys do? Well, the boys' team sold a total value of £1,790. Well, the girls generated sales of £4,653. <laughs> <laughs> OK, ladies, well, very well done. Off you go. Those ladies really kicked your ass, didn't they? Yep. Is that what goes on in the TV business also? Yes. Come on, speak up now. I want to know who's responsible. Well, I, I made the decisions in the end. Because Ultimately, I did, because I did you were the team decision, leader. Yeah. yeah but, and we decided... But sorry, you're not sorry, an expert I... on vacuum cleaners, are you? No, I, I wasn't, actually. We made a set of decisions around the negotiation, which arguably set us in the wrong direction. This has got to be a first. You've got representatives of Channel 4, BBC, ITV people and independents there, and they're all agreeing with each other. Take this thing in snapshot in time, because it'll be the only time anybody will ever see it again. <laughs> OK? Off you go. All right, I think we should call them back in. But time has come now. We're going to move on, and one of you's going to go. Andrew, I think you've done a relatively good job in presenting. Peter, I admire the fact that you take the ultimate responsibility for being the team leader. And Simon, I understand that you was up there uh, claiming to be directing. I feel that, that, that you may have 
kind of stitched up your team leader. But, Peter, I've got to say this, that, that you were poor. You were very, very bad at presenting. But my final decision is, Simon, you're fired. Eight candidates, no job, one loser.